Has your toilet ever just spontaneously ran without you flushing it? It's a really easy fix that anyone can do on their own. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So my toilet flapper is leaking. So I'm gonna show in this video exactly how to replace that. First thing we need to do, take the tank lid off, just like that, and you need to put it somewhere where it's not gonna get broke. And then down inside here, you can see the toilet flap. The toilet flap is this little red, pinkish color thing for my toilet with the yellow float. I've got a replacement one here. It's a quirky, universal one, float style. It's very similar to what's in there. I'm going to use it to replace what's in there. In fact, it may be the exact same one. So basically, I've opened it up. There's some instructions here on the back of the, on it on how to go about doing it. It's really simple replacement. For me, I don't generally turn off the water because it's so fast just to do this. Uh, you can turn your toilet water off if you have to, but I generally don't. What I like to do is I like to just unclip this, unsnap it from down there, and put the new one in as quick as I can. Water will flow, but if you do it quickly, you don't have to worry about it. Otherwise, you can turn off your toilet tank water. Uh, usually, there's a valve down to the bottom left uh, where the water comes in, so that will prevent it from constantly running while you're doing it but it's up to you. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just flush the toilet, and then I'm gonna unclip this from the handle, and that will allow it to disconnect. So now, I'm just going to reach in here, pull the little rubber flaps off, and pull the existing toilet quirky off. I'm going to take the new one and basically reverse that procedure. Put it on the little ears here. Sometimes with the handle it can get kind of in the way. Then that's pretty much that. I'll probably have to adjust the uh, float here and the uh, where this is because obviously if I just clip it on just like this it's not even going to lift it up any but that's part of you know making the adjustments so uh, what I'll do is I'll take this little clip off and I'll actually move it down closer to where it was it may not be the perfect spot but that's why it's adjustable. And I'll show you that with the old one. And then it's just playing kind of a, a little bit of a game here to see if you got the right height. Because the chain and the, the float are both adjustable, but you have to kind of wait, let the toilet fill up before you can actually test it. The purpose of this little yellow float here is to hold the flapper up while you're flushing so it doesn't the suction doesn't pull it back closed if you don't have it up high enough see it won't flush like that so i need to take more slack out of the chain which is no biggie just repeat the process we did while ago undo the chain from the clip Adjust it further down in there and then clip it back onto your handle. Like so. Usually if it's about tight, it's about where it should go. So now if I lift it up, you see that as you see, the float allowed the, the flapper to drop really fast. So it barely got any water in the, the bowl. So we'll just uh adjust this uh, the float down a little bit so it'll flush a little more and the way I like to set these is 
I like to set it just so it's enough to get all the water out of the bowl and a little extra. You don't want to keep going, you know, basically flowing water in there. Let's see, that, that really wasn't enough water either. So we'll just slide the float down farther. Hey, if you're getting value out of this video, hit like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. It also might be to the fact that I'm not lifting the flapper up enough. There's several different uh, settings here. You can see that's a much better flush. Um, if you determine you need more flush, you can push the the little float down further, which will allow it to flush even further. The previous one, as you see, it was a little bit different design, it had this little clip on it here. It uh, had a much smaller chain, but the float was down near the uh, actual uh, stopper itself. This one I may leave exactly where it is and just uh, adjust it as we flush it. If you know your stuff in the bowl doesn't go all the way down, doesn't get all the TP or all the other byproducts that uh, you might put in there, doesn't go all the way down, I may push the float down farther so it flushes farther. But that seems like a pretty good flush. The other thing I'm going to do is just so this chain stays out of the way, is I'm just going to put the last link back in here like that so it forms a little loop that way it's not rubbing on the on the flapper itself or the float and we'll give it one last flush to make sure everything's fine and I'll put the tank lid back on very little slack in the handle Well, it appears to have good flush and you can see, you know, some people put a brick in here to save water, but a lot of times if you just adjust the float on your flapper and the chain itself, you can keep most of the water in the tank. So that if, when you need to, you know, like if you got a, you know, a really bad, bad, a bad job in your toilet and you gotta, you know, hold the tank up so it'll drain the entire bowl. You can do that too, you know. If you don't have enough slack in your chain, it can hold the float up, which will prevent it from sealing also. So you gotta make sure you gotta have enough slack in your chain, uh, but not too much, otherwise it won't flush. So pretty much it. I'll put the lid back on and we'll call this job done. That literally is like a 10, 15 minute fix. It's not very hard to do, quite simple and an easy fix for your DIY person. Question of the day, what issues have you had with your toilet? Post it down below in the comments. Okay, so we fixed our toilet with this Corky style flapper. It's not too expensive, you can get it at any home center or on my wink down listed below this video. It uh, was really easy. We'll go over showing how this toilet stopper basically failed uh, between mineral buildup and getting harder. Uh, and a little more brittle allowing water to leak sometimes though it's a little more in depth luckily for this time we didn't have to do any of that extra work we just had to do this and it should last hopefully a decent while these universal stoppers depending on which one you get can actually have five to ten year warranties on them so if they fail between that time you can usually get them replaced for free so i'm going to give you a close-up look up of what this one looks like and show you how this all looks so here's what the the corky actually looks like. I mean, this one basically has got a little bit of a rim here and some scale built up, and this little lip right here is what's causing it to was causing it to probably leak because there's a little bit of a ridge right here. You might be able to see some of it here in the picture, but this right here, water would go down. It would cause it to drip a little. This thing's probably it, it's probably over five years old. I mean, it's decently old. I mean, you could see by the one I replaced it with, with this one, this one has a little clip in here versus the ability to slide the chain up and down. The other one, the chain was much longer than this one. 
So it, it, it did its job. It also started wearing right around here around the pivot points where the, it flaps up. So uh, we'll just, I may keep the chain for something, uh, uh, but uh, the rest is just garbage. But this Corky Universal Float, I have one of these in my other toilet. It worked great forever when we redid that bathroom we got a new toilet now has one of the i don't know exactly what it's called but it's basically it looks like it lifts up a pipe inside there so the whole tank dumps at once it's a very high flow flush good at helping push anything down through there is really fast so you don't get that slow swirl or slow drain and it uh, helps prevent the toilet from getting clogged these quirky universal ones worked pretty good in my old toilets but like i said this is the only old toilet now that I have this in. The other two bathrooms were redone because they were still the original 1950s style bathrooms. So the toilets are actually really old. So, But you have different options here you can get. You can get you know, different models. They each have different resistance or different uh, abilities. So this is, this is the 2004 model, which is this one right here. It's only, it's not optimized for water use, but like I said, depending on how you adjust the float on, on it, you can actually kind of optimize it by allowing it to only flush so much. So it saves a lot of money and the directions here are pretty simple too. So again, I'll link that down below in the description. So if you found this video useful, please hit the like button and subscribe for future videos. It really helps out a bunch and helps my channel grow. And if you've already subscribed, thanks for watching.